This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And you're probably wondering why here we're checking out some SEC football on the Man Cave little TV set. But the thing is, we all probably use a remote control with our television set or our DVR or our stereo system or other electronics devices within the house. The same thing can be done with your fish finder that you use at home. I mean, how many people get lost if they don't have the remote control? I know I do. Let's jump over to the new Helix 9 and I'm going to show you the Bluetooth RC1 remote and what all it can do for you. It's just like these remotes that you use at home, but this one's for your fish finder and it's going to help make it easier to allow you to do more while you're on the water. What you'll get when you get the RC1 Bluetooth remote is you'll get a remote and you'll get a dongle. This dongle plugs into the COM port of the unit. It's going to have a port that's long and skinny like this. This would be the same port that you would use if you were using the optional uh, GPS, external GPS receiver like the heading sensor that I have here. If you still want to use your heading sensor, it will plug into the dongle and allow you to daisy chain and use both features and functions on your unit. So this can be m mounted in internally in the boat. Um, you can mount it externally. There's screw holes to mount it to keep it from flopping around. I've just got it loose for demonstration purposes to show you here. What you'll need to do is go to the menu and you'll, you're going to come over here to accessory tab. And if you notice, when I hit menu twice, it came up on alarms. If you hit the left arrow, you can actually go backward. It's quicker. It's less button clicks. So come down here to the wireless remote. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the features that this remote's going to do when you're on certain views. So when you're on 2D sonar, the 2D plus and minus key is going to you can have it set up to do sensitivity, chart speed, surface clutter, lower range, or noise filter. I want sensitivity. So we hit exit, come back, the menu key, which is going to be this button, what I want it to do. Do I want it to do beam select, or do I want to do sonar recordings, real time, switch fire, uh, sonar, sonar colors, fish ID. You can set it up to whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do switch fire because I use that quite often as I go into shallow and deep water. So we'll hit exit, come back. The next one is if you push and hold this menu button, what you can do. Um, we're going to set sonar colors because sometimes I want to see a different color to see different data. So just personal preferences, it's totally customizable up to you. Next one is down imaging. We got our DI sensitivity. That's what I'm going to use for my preferred setup when I hit the plus or minus key. The next one is imaging color. I'm going to set that is, yeah. That's a good one for there. Press and hold. We're going to do, uh, it's like sonar. Side imaging. We're going to set our side imaging sensitivity because that's something that I want. So when we're in side imaging, the next one is the menu key, what it functions. I'm going to choose uh, contour mode is a good one because that can turn the contour mode on and off with that control. The next one, I'm going to do side imaging colors is my next one. You can also do 360. Plus and minus is our sensitivity again. That's a good choice. Uh, menu key. Um, I want to do the display because that tells me which directions. Uh, left, right, front, rear, full 360. That's the one I want for there. Now I want to start and stop ping of my 360 by pushing and holding. Um, that's a, something that you should do. The next one is chart. We can zoom in. That's a good function there. 
Um, chart orientation, I'm going to put as my next one. I want to be able to change the chart orientation by hitting the menu key. The next one, uh, we're going to do prox proximity flags. That tells me how close the next one, when I'm in Humminbird chart. In avionics chart, we can do the same thing. Um, we can we can change shading the depth on the Navionics. The shading the depth will be in the menu system on the Lake Master. But I'm going to go zoom because that's something when you're charting you do often. Um, we'll do the chart orientation and we'll do the proximity flags for that one. Hit exit. Radar we don't use radar, so I'm not going to do anything there. Options, mark, key, tells me what I'm going to do. Press and hold the mark key. Uh, I'm going to do sonar for it. Uh, sync new remote. Now with our remote, we can change our views by using the two bottom buttons. This is scrolling forward, this is scrolling backwards. So we can scroll through all the different panes here. We can scroll backwards to there. And since, since this is side imaging, we're going to be able to change our sensitivity up, bump it up, bump it down with this. It's a lot not nicer when you can see it on the water in actual footage, but we have to run a normal mode to set this up. If you want to set a waypoint, you hit mark, boom, your waypoint. And I saved a PNG because I had screen, screen capture set up. So we saved a screen capture of that. If you want the view, if you want big digit information, this is your big box data, your speed, your course, your voltage. That's by hitting that button. Uh, you can mark and hold, you can turn your sonar off, push it again, turn it back on. If you're in 360, and this is one of the things I really want to show that I use a lot is pinging 360. If I push and hold this, I start my 360. There's the 360 started. Push and hold again, I'm stopping the 360 imaging. Now, the other... Whoop, this is the other one. We'll get it to start again. I can go left by pushing them, just pushing the menu button once. Go right side. I can just do a 360 display. I can look front. So you can change the screen views on the fly. I mean, just with this thing hanging around your neck, you can do all this at, at your fingertips. You want to stop three, stop 360. Push and hold stops it. Just like using your remote on your TV. You can control your hummingbird, and it's a, I really think it's an awesome feature when you're on the bow because you're standing, I'm six foot tall, I'm standing six foot away from the unit. I can quickly, easily push a button, change my graph, just tweak it a little bit to make it a lot more easier for me. Conditions change during the day, and being able to tweak your sonar just a little bit here and there is going to make you a more efficient angler and see the data and help you catch more fish. Hope that helped you learn a little bit more about the RC1 remote. Add one to your Humminbird Helix. Works with the Onyx and also works with the prior Core Series product. Hope that uh, helped you learn a little bit more and get out and enjoy the water and check out the cool new stuff from Humminbird.